This video will review hydraulic brake bleeding of Magura caliper disc brakes with flat bar levers using the Pug Tool BKM1 hydraulic brake bleed kit. For other brands, see our video playlist here. Brake bleeding requires a thorough technical knowledge of the braking system. If in doubt, or if your procedure is not working, contact the brake manufacturer's website for their model-specific information. It is important to always use the appropriate brake fluid for the brake being serviced. Never use a DOT fluid for brakes designed for mineral oil. Conversely, never use a mineral oil in brakes designed for a DOT fluid. Mixing fluids can cause damage to the components and lead to brake failure. Additionally, you should never share bleed kits between DOT fluids and mineral oils. You may also want to anticipate any advertent spills and drips on the floor. Dispose of any fluid in accordance with your local waste disposal authorities. Typical tools and supplies for this procedure include the BKM1 Hydraulic Brake Bleed Kit from Park Tool, appropriate mineral oil for the system, hex wrenches, a T25 compatible Torx wrench, Park Tool Piston Press PP1.2 or tire lever, clean rags, isopropyl alcohol, safety glasses and gloves. We'll be using the Magura MT5 caliper to show how to bleed Magura systems. Begin preparing the bike by removing the wheel. Set pistons back into the caliper body using the Park Tool PP1.2 piston press or other lever. Remove pads from the caliper to avoid any chance of oil contamination. Install the brake caliper bleed blocks. If there are dual pistons, use two blocks. When there is no pad retaining screw, use a rubber band to hold the blocks in place. Rotate the bike so that there is an upward flow from the caliper to the lever. Rotate the lever on the bar so the bleed port is at the highest point of the system. Now to prepare the bleed kit. Select the hose assembly with threaded fittings on both ends. Thread this end into the syringe. Select the correct adapter for the other end. Magura commonly uses an M6 by one millimeter thread at the caliper bleed port. Use the black adapter. If you are unsure of the adapter needed, remove and measure the bleed port fitting to match thread pitch, hold the two threads one on top of the other to see if the threads properly mesh together. Thread the correct adapter onto the syringe hose. Fill the syringe nearly full with the appropriate mineral oil. Magura suggests using their proprietary fluid. Hold syringe and tubing vertical. Clear the hose of fluid and air by pulling back. Then slowly pushing forward until the only fluid remains in the syringe and hose. Set the syringe aside. Use the syringe holder above the brake caliper to assist in bleeding. Remove the bleed port screw from the caliper. Install the syringe hose with the adapter into the caliper port, snugging it by hand. Attach the syringe to the holder. Now remove the bleed port screw with the lever. Magura levers use an M6 by 0.75 thread at the bleed port. This matches the blue adapter. Thread the adapter into the lever port. Install the bleed funnel on top of the adapter using the adapter to avoid over tightening. Be sure to remove the stopper from the funnel. Begin to push the syringe at the caliper to move the mineral oil up through the system. As you push the plunger, pay attention not to introduce air. Stop before the plunger reaches the end of the syringe. Watch for bubbles appearing at the funnel. This indicates air is evacuating the system. Once all the fluid is pushed from the syringe, stop. If the mineral oil comes up dirty, it should be changed. 
Push until clean fluid is entering the funnel. Stop and install the plug. Remove the funnel and discard the dirty fluid. Reinstall the funnel. Refill the funnel with about the same amount of clean fluid. Pull backward at the caliper syringe to draw this clean fluid from the funnel down to the syringe. Then begin the initial syringe push to move the clean fluid back up to the funnel. Now slowly pull backward on the caliper syringe to draw a vacuum in the brake system to help remove any internal air bubbles. Partially squeeze and release the lever to encourage any bubbles to dislodge and leave the system. Watch that you don't completely drain the funnel at the brake lever. Repeat one more cycle of pushing fluid upward to the funnel, then pulling it back down. Use care not to introduce air from the syringe or the funnel. Leave syringe at the caliper. Install the stopper at the funnel. Have a rag at hand as you unthread the blue adapter from the lever. Reinstall brake lever point screw and secure lightly to approximately 0.5 newton meter. This seals the top of the system. Have the caliper bleed port screw ready as you unscrew the adapter from the caliper brake. Install the port screw and secure to a maximum of 4 newton meters. Squeeze the lever with force. It should feel firm. If not, there is air in the system. Repeat the bleed, reassessing the process as you go. When the lever feels firm, there is no air in the system. Clean the caliper and lever using a clean rag and alcohol. Rotate the bike lever back to the original position. Remove the blocks from the caliper. Reinstall brake pads. Install the wheel. Pull lever repeatedly to move the pads to the rotor. Adjust the caliper to the rotor as necessary. The lever should feel firm when pulled repeatedly with force. After bleeding, remove hose from syringe and remove adapters from the hose. Let the hoses drain. Make sure any hose clips are open. A little remnant mineral oil in the syringe is not an issue. Otherwise, the syringe can be taken apart to be cleaned at your discretion. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content for Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.